So back there with the EH wipe arm assembly rebuild. Um, bit of a lockdown project. Um, luckily I had all the parts already purchased. So it was just a matter of putting things together. Um, what I would have liked to have done if I hadn't been in lockdown would have probably been to take all these arms into an electroplater, have them stripped and re-electroplated. The electroplating wasn't in too bad a condition. Um, obviously with no other options other than to clean up what I had, I basically just scotch wired it um, while we were on the inside where it was a little bit harder to get to. Uh, once I had it pretty clean and most of the oxidization um, removed, I then went over it with the um, PBG One Choice metal conditioner. Um, process is obviously on the data sheets for that. And then I went over the top with uh, the Nylac clear coat. So that gives you the finish that you see here. Um, pretty happy with that, nice and original. Um, so retained um, everything that was original. So a bit of a, not so much a restore, but just protection, preserve and protect. Um, Pivot arms, I was really lucky. Uh, car was a good car when I bought it years ago, so not seized, um, nice and free. Uh, I know in Australia, you can, you guys are really lucky, you can send these away and actually have them completely rebuilt. Here in NZ, we can only buy the rear spares kits for them, so it's pretty much a DIY thing. One thing um, we can't get here, I haven't been able to find, um, and I was lucky enough to actually have some good ones, there's little copper bushes that go in and they go in at the actual wiper motor end and also at this pivot arm here on the on the I think which would be the driver's side but anyway if anyone knows where you can find those put a put a shout out on the um, on the channel and try and help someone out help someone else out who's actually going to go through this rebuild process so yeah it's basically it the rear spares kit was nice and easy to install crimp those over a little bit of grease um, so yeah, back in the car, when the car is finally back together, a little bit of a story on that one, but we'll go into that in a later video. Cheers guys.